السلام عليكم أعزائي طلبة المرحلة الثالثة في كلية الطب جامعة الموصل أنا دكتور وليد خالد سعدون التدريسي في فرع الأحياء المجهرية وإن شاء الله راح أواصل معكم شرح المختبرات العملية للجراثيم لهذا العام In the previous lab we learned how to prepare a fixed smear from solid and fluid material and I told you that if we examine the slide under the microscope the bacteria will appear colorless. So, in order for this bacteria to be viewed, we have to stain it. And this is the subject of our lab today, which is bacterial staining. Objective of this lab is that in this lab, you will know the types of staining techniques. I'll describe how to stain bacteria by gram method, gram staining method, I will show you the differences between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria and I will describe for you the mechanism of bacterial staining. First of all, I will start with types of staining techniques. In general, there are two types of staining technique depending on the number of dyes that we use in the technique. First of all is simple staining technique in which we use only one dye and if we use more than one dye then it will be compound or differential staining technique so compound or differential staining technique consists of more than one dye two three or four dyes so if we have a question what is the type of this staining technique you will answer depending on the number of dyes and the stains that we use in this technique. If we use only one dye, it is simple staining technique. If we use more than one dye, it is compound differential staining technique. Let's start with simple staining technique. Simple staining technique is used to demonstrate the presence of organisms or the nature of any cell present in the smear by applying only one dye. It is used only to know if this smear contains bacteria or not. Now, stains in general are divided into three types, basic, acidic, and neutral stain. Example of acidic stain is negrosine. Example of basic stain, including crystal violet, malachite green, safranine, basic foxine, and example of neutral stain is ride, ginza, and Lishman stain. Now, the basic stain carry its coloring matter in positive charge and bacterial cells are rich in nucleic acids which has a negative charge. So, the basic stain will be attracted to the bacteria and stain it. So, the basic stain will stain the bacteria. While the acidic stain will not stain the bacteria, but they will stain the background material of the slide. Now, what is the procedure of simple staining technique? Now, I will describe for you the procedure of simple staining technique. What we need in this technique, first of all, a previously prepared fixed smear. Now, this is a previously prepared fixed smear. I prepared it as I discussed for you in the previous lab and I put the uh, label in the lower surface of the slide and this is the fixed smear. Also, I need a crystal violet dye, crystal violet, <clears throat> water for washing and filter paper. Now, I will flood the slide with crystal violet or methylene blue. I will cover the whole smear with the crystal violet dye in this way and I will wait for 5 to 10 minutes. After waiting for 5 to 10 minutes, I will wash off the stain with a slowly running tap water. Now the washing will be in this way. I hold the slide and I bring water to the edge of the slide. By this way, I wash off the stain. 
And if you notice that the smear take the dye, which is crystal violet dye. After that, I will allow the slide to dry by air, or I can dry it by putting it between two sheets of filter paper. This is filter paper. I put the slide between two sheets of filter paper, make it dry, and then I will examine the slide under the microscope as you learned in the previous lab. Starting from the scanning to the low power, high power lens, and then oil immersion lens. This is the procedure of a simple staining technique. So this is the procedure of simple staining technique. We applied only the crystal violet on the slide, wait for five to 10 minutes, then wash the stain by slowly running tap water, allow the slide to dry by air or by filter paper, and then examine it under the oil immersion lens. The second type of staining technique is the compound or differential staining technique. It is done by using more than one dye using success successfully, yani one after the other. And the most important example of this staining technique include the gram staining method, acid fast stain, zeolinster method that is, that is used for tuberculosis, and spore staining technique, in which we will stain the bacteria by a color and the spore by another color in order to differentiate between them. So, in order to differentiate between bacteria according to their type of reaction, we have to stain them by compound or differential staining technique. The most important example of compound or differential staining technique is a gram stain method. You will face this name, gram staining method, commonly in microbiology. This method is widely used in bacteriology. It is discovered in 1884 by Gram, who is a Danish physician, who used two dyes in sequence, each of different color. The first dye was violet, and the second dye was red in color. He applied these dyes, one after the other, on the bacteria. And he discovered that bacteria will fall into two different categories. The first type, those that retain the first dye, which is the violet, the crystal violet, and they not lose this dye after washing with, uh, after washing with the colorizing solution. He named this bacteria as gram-positive bacteria. So gram-positive bacteria will appear violet in color. The second group of bacteria, they lose the first dye, which is crystal violet, after washing with decolorizing solution, and they are stained with the second dye, which is red in color, so at the end, this bacteria appeared as red in color. It, these bacteria are named as gram-negative bacteria. So in conclusion, gram-positive bacteria will appear violet in color, while gram-negative bacteria will appear red in color. So it is possible to differentiate between bacteria of the same morphology and to differentiate bacteria that have different types of reaction for the staining. Now, what is the reason for that? It is dependent mainly on the cell wall of the bacteria. The gram-negative bacteria have relatively little peptidoglycan and mainly consist of lipoprotein and polysaccharides. While gram-positive bacteria, the cell wall is thick and mainly consists of peptidoglycan. Now I will show you the procedure of gram staining method. What are the requirements for this method? Again, we need a previously prepared uh, fixed slide with a label from the lower surface of the slide. And I need the gram staining kit. It contains the crystal violet, which is violet in color, the grams iodine, the ethyl alcohol, 
95% ethyl alcohol which is a decolorizer and the safranine which is red in color again I need a filter paper and I need water for washing now what are the steps of gram staining technique first of all I will flood the slide with a crystal violet dye which is the first stain I will put it over the smear until I cover the whole smear and I will wait for one to two minutes after waiting for one to two minutes I will wash off the stain with a slowly running tap water by this way again I will bring the water to the edge of the slide then I will add the second this is the second step which is grams iodine grams iodine it will act as a mordant again I will put it over the smear and I will wait for one minute after waiting for one minute again I will wash it by slowly running tap water and then I will add the decolorizer which is ethyl alcohol it is named as gram differentiator now this step is the most important step and it is the differential step in gram staining method it will differentiate between gram positive and gram negative bacteria I will add few drops of the ethyl alcohol over the smear and I will wait for 20 to 30 seconds you have not to put it for a longer time otherwise even gram positive bacteria will lose the stain so 20 to 30 seconds and then I will wash off the stain after that I will add the last stain which is the safranin safranin it is red in color I will add the safranin over the smear and again I will wait for one to one half minutes after waiting for one to one half a minute again I will wash off the stain with slowly running tap water and I will allow the slide to dry in air or I put it between two sheets of filter paper and then I will examine it under the oil immersion lens now the slide is dry and I will examine it under the microscope as you learned in the previous lab so this is the procedure of a gram staining method starting with the crystal violet for one to two minutes then wash off the stain add the grams iodine which is the mordant act for one minute wash off the stain then add the ethyl alcohol which is a decolorizer for 20 to 30 seconds wash and finally we will add the safranin now what will happen during this procedure first of all when I added the crystal violet all the bacteria whether gram positive or gram negative will take the stain it will be introduced inside all the bacteria present in the field so after the first step which is the crystal violet after washing if I examine the slide under the microscope both gram positive and gram negative bacteria will appear violet in color second step is addition of iodine now iodine will fix the stain inside the bacteria it will produce what is called as diiodine complex this will prevent the stain to go outside the bacteria it will fix it under inside the bacteria then the most important step which is the addition of ethyl alcohol which is a decolorizer 
Now what will happen? As I mentioned previously, in gram-negative cells, the major part of the cell wall is lipoprotein. So it is lipid. Ethyl alcohol will dissolve this lipid that is found in the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria, producing pores or openings in the wall. Through these openings, the stain, the diiodine complex that is present inside the gram-negative bacteria, will be diffused and go outside the cell. This is regarding the gram-negative bacteria. While gram-positive bacteria, the cell wall is thick and is mainly consists of peptidoglycan, so the ethyl alcohol will not affect the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. So the diiodine complex, which is violet in color, will stay inside gram-positive bacteria after this step. So, after the third step, if we examine the slide under the microscope, the gram-negative cells will appear colorless because they are empty, because the stain go outside the bacteria, while gram-positive bacteria will appear violet in color. Now, the fourth step is the addition of safranin. Safranin will fill the empty cells, the empty bacteria, which is the gram-negative bacteria. They are empty, so it will be filled by safranin, which is red in color. While gram-positive bacteria, they contain the stain. They are not empty. They are violet in color, so they will not be filled by safranin. Safranin will, on will only fill the empty bacteria, which is gram-negative bacteria. So, at the end, the gram-negative bacteria will appear red in color, and gram-positive bacteria will appear violet in color. So, what are the causes of this differentiation between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria? The most important cause is the composition of the cell wall, as I mentioned previously. The cell wall of gram-negative bacteria is thin, contains little peptidoglycan, and mainly consists of lipoprotein and polysaccharides, so it will be affected by the ethyl alcohol while gram-positive bacteria have a more thick and rigid cell wall, so it will not be affected by ethyl alcohol. Another theory said that the more acid character of the protoplasm of the gram-positive bacteria, which is enhanced thirdly by addition of iodine, will strongly attract the basic stain toward the gram-positive bacteria, and the third cause is the integrity of the cell wall. So this is all about our lab today. We learned that there are two types of staining technique, simple and compound or differential staining technique. We learned that the gram-positive bacteria will appear violet in color and the gram-negative bacteria will appear red in color and that the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria is thinner than that of gram-positive bacteria. And regarding the procedures of simple staining technique, we will flood the slide with the crystal violet for five to 10 minutes, wash off the stain by slowly running tap water, and then allow the slide to dry in air and examine it under the microscope. And for the ground staining method, First of all, we applied the crystal violet for one to two minutes, wash off the stain, then we add the iodine, Grams iodine, it acts for one minute, it will act as a mordant, fix the stain inside the bacteria, then after washing, we added the ethyl alcohol, the decolorizer, for 20 to 30 seconds, it will differentiate between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, and at the end, we added the safranin, which is red in color. That is all about our lab today. Thank you very much.